you want to see how I created these super cute gel nails, then you just got to keep on watching. Hello, my loves. Right, I have finally removed my acrylic extensions after having them on for a month. But I had only a teeny tiny area of lifting. I've prepped my nails, as you can see. There's the transformation. They are now prepped. If you want to know more about prepping in detail, I do actually have a really short prep course online. It's only £20. Hit me up with a DM to find out more. I'm going to do a gel overlay today um, because I want to keep one hand short. It just makes life easier for me. And I've grown out where I've had those extensions on for a month. I've now grown out my free edge a little bit. So after prepping, um, I'm going to dehydrate the nail surface. And I'm just using normal dehydrator for that. How are you all doing? Are you excited if you're going back to work? Are you eek excited or are you <laughs> shitting a brick? <laughs> I'm not going back yet. I'm, I'm sticking with what I'm doing. Right, I'm going to do my protein bond. I just love this. I use it all the time. I will have my mum in to have her nails done. And she is the only person I'm having in because, um, well, uh, a lot of my family are high risk. So I just don't want to risk it for now. Okay, once I'm all prepped, I'm going in with Lacente's base coat. Now, this seems a bit odd, but this base coat works really well with the, the fiber gel I'm using. I wouldn't mix systems on somebody else, but I'm doing it on me. I don't really care. Um, it works nice as a base coat because I keep forgetting to buy the Universal Air Bond for Nail Perfect. So I use this instead. It works really well. 30 second cure, then I'm going in with the fibre gel. This is in light rose. This colour is amazing. It's so beautiful. And I've got my size 8 oval brush from Nail Perfect as well. And I just keep a lint-free pad with some safe scrub, you know, like Prep Spay, IPA, whatever you want to use. And um, just make sure there's no dust in my brush. Make sure it's nice and clean. And I'll keep it there to clean my brush off. Beautiful. Okie dokie. Obviously, I'm doing this left handed, so it's a bit cat handed. But, you know, I'm going to pick up a nice scoop of uh, light rose, roll it off the brush onto my nail, and just do a nice overlay. So, yeah, I am working left handed, so if it seems a bit. Um, slow it's just it's not it's not my dominant hand so it is a little bit slow but don't worry the rest of the nails are in fast forward so you only have to see me do it in real time once as you can see I'm just keeping my brush in contact with the gel at all times and just manipulating it across the surface of the nail I use dragging and pillowing mainly motions then that goes in my lamp for 60 seconds there we go and I'm going to do the same on all the other fingers so a layer of base coat 30 second cure and then a layer of the gel now I cure each finger with this fiber gel because if you try and do all the fingers and then cure them it will start to run into the side walls
think about yesterday My, oh my My, oh my And so I did Okay, once they're cured and I've removed the inhibition layer and I've given them a little file, I'm now going to go in with some of Lucente's gel polish. So I'm using Soho, which is my favourite, it's blue of all time, Easy as Pie, which is from the New Desserts collection, and Blanche, which is this beautiful off-white, really creamy, gorgeous colour. And I'm going to use those three to do... A kind of marble nail I'm just using my micro detailer brush and picking up scoops of product putting it down and then we'll work them all in and around each other and the trick here is to just be light with your movements you don't need to kind of like scoop the whole pile of product and drag it you just need to be light and it is a bit tricky if you're doing it with your non-dominant hand but as long as you rest your elbow on something and keep your both your hands very secure it shouldn't be too difficult and just drag it so you see these beautiful veins of colour swirling in and out of each other. Obviously if you keep going backwards and forwards over the same area you're just going to end up with a new colour that looks creamy. So try and keep that definition of the, the colours a bit like you would with a water marble and then before I cure it I'm just going to press in a little bit of gold leaf and then it will go straight in my lamp for 30 seconds. I am then going to get my Lacente gel builder, which is the clear in a bottle, builder in a bottle. I'll do a thin layer and this is just going to encapsulate this design. So I'll do a thin layer first, make sure it's all in everywhere I need it to be. And then I'll just take a little bit more product on my brush and float it across the main centre of the nail. It will. It evidently, it will, it, oh my God, I can't get my words out. It will flow down to the side slightly. You don't need to fill the side walls of product because it will just flood. So just keep the bulk of the product in the centre of the nail. It will work its way out naturally. Tip your nail upside down for 10 seconds and then it needs to go into the lamp for 99 seconds. So on the Lacente lamp, there is a 99 second cure. And the reason we use this one is because it goes up in intensity throughout the curing process. And that really, really helps to reduce the risk of any heat spikes. So once I've done that, I'll just remove the inhibition layer. And I'm going to do exactly the same on all of the nails. I've sped it up, but I've kept it in because you can then watch it over and get a little bit more of a gist. So I'll leave you to watch this part. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I will ever figure out Falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs. You can 
Now I will cure these in between. So uh, once I finish the nail, I will cure it and then go on to the next nail because you just don't want to leave it. You will end up with a mess. Jumping from cliffs so high Trusting our wings to fly Sometimes we're crashing down But we get up and start from the ground Searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down And then, as before, I'm going to go in all of the nails, do a thin layer of builder gel, and then just build up a little bit more through the centre of the nail. Make sure that design is nice and covered. There's no need to file after this. Unless you've got some lumps and bumps, then you might want to give it a file. But I didn't really have anything to file, so I just left it as is.
and then once they're all cured and out the lamp I'm then going to apply the Lucente top coat and, and it's as simple as that give that a cure for 30 seconds and apply some cuticle oil I really really enjoyed this design this was inspired I did something like this ages ago and I didn't like it and I don't think I ever shared it um, and then I recently saw Isabel May do it and I thought oh I wish I'd kept it when I did that so I'll do it again um, I love her work so I find it really inspiring and kind of watching her and a few of the other texts really inspires me to, like Nat Natalie Mugridge it really inspires me to do more gel work so I'm trying to get the balance right so once they, they're cured I'm gonna go in with my Amoki Nails a cuticle oil in Lola Cola and I just place it back further back at the finger and then massage it in around the cuticle and around the thing but not over the nail I'm not flooding um, the folds of the nail with with cuticle oil it's unnecessary just it just needs a bit of hydration and I massage it into the fingers and quite often I rub my hands like I've got hand cream on and really kind of give everything a good nourishing load of cuticle oil without over flooding and then that's that I did some outdoors uh, filming for the end of it because I really wanted you to see it in natural light. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I'd love to see you recreate this. Don't forget to look in the description box for all my social media and for links for information on my new courses. I'll see you next time. Tally bye!